Hello, this is Dr. Simon Sally, and I'm here to talk to you uh, about vlogging, give you some vlogging tips. Remember now, a vlog is like a video blog, so it should be a personal speech on your part. So some announcement tips. Dress appropriately. Now, I don't mean you have to wear a tie or a jacket or anything like that, but you should treat it like a speech class, a speech you're giving speech class face to face. Ordinarily, you'd come in and probably wear slacks and a polo shirt or what have you. So something along those lines would be better than uh, a simple t-shirt. You know, you only show them from the waist up, so if you just wear a polo shirt from the top, it doesn't matter what you have down on the bottom, depending how the camera angle is. So do that. Technical uh, aspects of it, look at your shot framing a little bit. Try not to get a low angle shot where you're showing the ceiling or try to avoid backlight, try to avoid windows behind you because it'll make you look dark and in a shadow like a witness protection program. So try to look at that. It's not that important because I know I don't want you to have this whole lighting kit and the background involved. You can do it in your living room, your kitchen, what have you. Just try to get an eye level and a good background. Now, to start off with things, introduce yourself and the topic you're going to discuss but you don't need to mention the class, me, the module, the textbook, anything like that. You could just say, oh, I'm so-and-so, and today I'm going to talk to you about the topic. That's all you need to do. And there's different uh, tips out there for people, but for as far as this class goes, that is all I'm looking for. Another thing, too, try not to read as much as possible. Once again, if you're in a face-to-face -face speech class, you won't be reading. You may have little cue cards with you. You may look down at every now and then. Uh, same thing here. What I'm doing, I have bullet points on my computer here. So I'm looking over there at that every now and then, but some of it should just flow freely from you. Uh, don't look too serious, depending on the topic. Obviously, serious topics uh, require serious tone. And, but you know, try to smile every now and then on topics. These should be lighthearted things. Smile. Remember, nonverbal communication is important. So smile. Make eye contact. You should know where the camera is on your computer. And right now, I got words on this side, and I have myself over here. So you can look at both sides. But remember, where the camera is located. Uh, no edits. I don't want any edits. I want you to hit record. Do your speech for three to five minutes, and then stop. That's it. You don't need graphics. You don't need music in the background, anything else, and if you make a mistake, just stop and start over again. Because once, once again, you're in a traditional speech class, you don't have edits. You just go through it until your time's up. Now look over the rubric that I, uh, I made for you for the class and how I critique you for the different speeches. Introduction, flow, posture and poise, engagement, nonverbals, technology, and conclusion. So look over that because that's what I'm using to uh, grade you and stay in the time, three to five minutes. Like I said, anything over five minutes, you're gonna lose points. Three to five minutes, anything around the four minute mark, three and a half minute mark, that is fine for now. Maybe later on for other speeches, you may require more time, but for the vlogs, stay there. Right now I'm seeing, I'm at 3.30 right now on uh, I'm using uh, Apple Photo Booth. Watch your classmates' videos. You can watch them and you'll know what's good, what's bad. Take some of their tips, what they're doing. Also watch some videos online. If you just do a YouTube search for vlogs, you can get a lot of junk, to be honest. But I posted a good one for you uh, online. If you look at it, that's a good example. But look at your classmates' ones as well. And I guess for the students out there, or people out there who found this video on YouTube who are not in the class and don't know what I'm talking about, well, I guess you can go to nichols.edu slash online to learn more. The rest of you, I'll see your work soon.